Hello there, here's the second day that I went out. Um, this one, as you can see, I got uh, not as many as the first day uh, for non-GameStop pickups, but um, of course I was still hitting GameStops up. But uh, I did uh, hit a few more pawn shops and uh, a few flea markets and, and uh, one or two game stores. Uh, so I got some nice pickups actually from that. You can see I picked up a lot of PS1, so really happy about that. The first two here actually um, are stacks of steelbooks which um, this I was actually really happy I had a chance to go back down south because um, I think it was November or October, somewhere in there, I did do a southern trip and one of the pawn shops had these stacks of um, steelbooks, which they had like $5 clearance on them, no discs in any of them, um, no game discs at least. They were selling them just as big stacks. So I have a stack of six and a stack of five and I bought those, and um, the ones that I bought before, about like four stacks, have done great. Um, I kept a bunch of them, and I've actually sold a bunch of them for, for like 10 to 12 a piece. So still books do pretty good. So I bought the last two that they had. The stack of six, so you can see it was $5 there. Um, the stack of six had a, a Gran Turismo Sport. No sleeve, but still good. Had one movie. Um, I think this is the movie. Uh, Underworld Rise of the Lycans, got kind of like a art cover. I don't know. I think that's a movie. I'm pretty sure that's like the second movie. But Hitman Complete First Season, actually uh, had that before and sold it. Um, Dead Island Riptide. One of these. Not this one. One of these had a had a disc bonus disc in it. Uh, Dark Souls Two, kind of a cool raised cover there. Um, it's a cool one. I think maybe this is it. Yeah. So yeah, this has the soundtrack included with it. So that's cool. And a very nice pickup there. And Elder Scrolls Online Imperial Edition. Which yeah, it's empty. But it looks kind of cool. Um, so yeah. Nice little stack to get. Um, and like I said, it's five dollars for six of them, so that's like eighty cents a piece. Very nice. Uh, I'm sure I'll be able to make my money back on that. Not sure if I'll keep any of them, but that's okay. Um, this one is also five. This is only for five. This one wasn't as good as you'll see, but I think the first one here probably does it. Um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Still relatively new, so I expect a steel book for that will do good. Open this up actually. Very cool. Looks like it. Okay, yeah, it just has like a Division 2 paper in there. But um, yeah, very cool. Um, I think that one will do good. Gold edition. And the rest were kind of sports ones. Uh, MLB The Show 17. Let's see if there's anything in these. Uh, it'll be the show 18. Uh, it'll be the show 15th. 15, 10th anniversary. Very cool. And it will be the show 17. Uh, oh, it's MVP edition, so it's not the same as. Uh, oh, well, maybe it is. Yeah, looks like it is. It's the same, this just has the sleeve. So that's the difference there. But still cool. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do with those. Maybe I'll lock them up since they're all just uh, different editions of the same game. But pretty cool. Um, I was, the Steelbooks I definitely am watching out for now after the, those bundles that I've been getting. So happy to get those. Um, these next few pickups were just kind of random um, pawn shops, and I think one's from a flea market um, that I was just going to, and unfortunately not finding a lot, but uh, I was still finding at least something, um, which is pretty good. Um, the first one was Simpsons Road Rage for $2. Picked that up. Um, it's complete, so uh, I think the GameCube one is the one that's worth a lot, but uh, picked that up um, just to see what it was worth cheap enough. Um, don't think it's an upgrade, but we'll see. Uh, Flea Market uh, picked up Animorphs for five, 
which I actually kind of regret picking up because, uh, as you can see there, I got a bunch of PS1 games for a good deal and uh, probably could have gotten a few more dollars off of five. You know, it's still good. Um, very cool one, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Um, Pawn Shop had that uh, in their case, and they did seven on it. So I was happy about that. You know, getting uh, we'll get more Zeldas. This one uh, was another kind of weird one. These these pawn shop like bundle pickups I get. Uh, I had gotten like a Wii Sports Resort with a Mario Kart disc in it uh, a little while back. This is a very similar one because this was on the shelf as Wii Sports, um, and they they had advertised five dollars for their Wii games. So when I opened it up, I saw there was Wii Sports, but then there was also Wii Sports inside of it, which. Uh, which has another copy of Wii Sports in the manual. But then inside of this, tucked inside there, was a GameCube copy of Zelda Twilight Princess. <laughs> which, <laughs> that's a great find. Or find a GameCube game in there. You know, and I went up there and I asked, like, is this all, this bundle all one? And he said, yeah, yeah, it's just one, we're just kind of one game. So I guess they just take their loose stuff and put it together. But it's just so crazy. It's like, oh, Wii Sports, that's that's an okay pickup. Oh, a second Wii Sports. Oh, uh, Zelda as well. It just keeps getting better. One day I hope to find, you know, like, uh, like Matroska doll, like, oh, inside here is a better game. Oh, inside here is a better game. Inside here is a better game. You know, that's basically what happened here. So pretty awesome, especially because once, when I took it up there and actually went to go buy it, they marked it down to $2 from the five. So uh, that's three games for $2. And uh, some good stuff. Wii Sports is always good pickup. And uh, I actually don't have Twilight Princess on the, on the GameCube, so nice to get a, a disc for that. Very nice indeed. So that was very cool. I love that kind of stuff when I go to pawn shops. And this actually lasts pick up before the PS1 games. Like I said, I've been going to GameStops and uh, picking up picking up some stuff from there, and I'll show that in a different video. But um, Tales of Basera for the PS4, um, they still have at $25. So, you know, I was trying to get good deals with their buy two, get two. So I didn't, well, I wasn't picking it up. I was ignoring it. And then one of the pawn shops I randomly go to, they had like, they had, they didn't have much. They definitely don't get games very often because they had like two Xboxes, two Xbox Ones, and then like five games on their shelf. But on the shelf was Tales of Bus Area uh, Complete. And um, they had $10 on it, which is already good. And then I was like, oh, well, do you do five for that? And they did it. So pretty awesome to get that for five. It was just funny because... I was going to all these game stops picking up games like that for my collection that I want to have when I was ignoring because it was too expensive I find for five dollars at a pawn shop so really awesome to get that so yeah that was all that um, let me go ahead and rearrange and I'll show you this ps1 pickup okay um, here is the ps1 pickup this was from a game shop like I said, I stopped at the game shops just to kind of see if they happen to have a deal going on or if um, they have any cheap box cartridge games. Those are kind of my goals right now for stopping at game shops and uh, checking them out since I'm in the area. So this one, I got lucky. They did have a deal going on. Buy two, get one on, on their older stuff. Uh, so like NES, SNES, PS1, um, I think Xbox was included. I think ps2 was like buy one get one so it wasn't as good but um for nes and snes a lot of them were ten dollars at least so they i didn't want to do it because you know that'd be 20 bucks for three games which is okay but not super great but the ps1 a lot of them were five dollars or less um so i went ahead and just picked up a huge stack of them i got 18 games and i think that came out to yeah about 60 so pretty good there um, to pick up. Uh, and I got some good titles in here, you know, a few kind of more fluff titles, but some good stuff to really add to my PS1 collection, which is growing pretty fast. So I'm happy about that. So let me go ahead and go through those. And these are all complete. Um, condition is good on most of them. Got to clean them up, of course, but 
Uh, the first one was 007 Racing. Um, VIP, Pamela Anderson. Um, one, the barcode. Uh, Activision Classic Games. Army Men Air Attack. Uh, Forsaken. Always a strange cover on that one. Um, ODT Escape or Die Trying. Interesting. Interesting one there. Um, this is R. Oh, Red Assault. I thought it was R E D. Yeah, Red Assault. Interesting. This was Assault Retribution. Uh, one I'm happy to get Star Trek Invasion. Definitely check that one out. Yeah, these uh, like single fighter Star Trek games are interesting. Interesting to me just because it's not not really what happens in Star Trek or usually anyway, but I guess it is something that happens. Um, Rascal. And you can see some of these were R three. Um, I tried to pick as many five as I could, but a few were three, so. But still good. I mean, basically, I'm getting them for three apiece, regardless of whether or not they're three or five. Um, Austin Powers Pinball. Um, Frogger 2, Swampy's Revenge. Uh, Brahma Force, the Assault on Belt. Oh, Assault on Belt Logger 9. A lot of, like, interesting space games. This one. Eliminator. Cool. Extreme Pinball. So extreme. Uh, Sorcerer's Maze. And Battle Stations. Two player action. So yeah, um, like I said, uh, it was uh, about 60. Um, it was like $3 uh, per game with their two for one deal. So that's the kind of thing that I definitely am happy that I'm checking out game stores for because you know I can pick up a, a nice large lot for my collection at the price that I'm looking for, that $3. So that was it for um, the second uh, day of uh, non-GameStop stuff. Um, definitely good, good trip still. Um, the the pawn shops, pawn shops just weren't super great. I can't say that I would call any of them that good. The one where I got the steel books is a good one, but mostly just because they had these great deals on their clearance steel books. So unless they get more eventually, I probably wouldn't count it as that great of a, a stop either. Uh, to go back to, I should say. Um, but other than that, you know, I got a few good random pickups while I was checking out pawn shops and getting a bunch more steel books and a bunch of PS1 games for the collection is definitely pretty awesome. So um, that collection is growing very nicely. So here I, you can see I had a pickup for a DS pickup. Um, this was uh, off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, someone had it posted and uh, I jumped on it because uh, it was fifty dollars for two DS and nine games, and one of the games in there is definitely worth it. So I picked it up. Um, I definitely, I think I'll be keeping the two DS. I have a red one, but uh, happy to get a blue one into the collection. So yeah, like I said, it was fifty bucks for everything. Two um, DS works just fine. Um, I tested the touchpad and the cameras, and they're all working. Um, no stylus. It was missing that. So kind of a bummer, but good pickup on that. It has a charger and it came with a, a case here. Um, the loose games uh, were Reflex, MX versus ATV, Star Wars, Clone Wars, um, Corvette, Evolution GT, I believe, and Indiana Jones, the original Adventures Lego, Lego game. Yeah, nothing too great there, but it's okay. Um, for games that have their cases, I think only a few have manuals. Uh, Batman 2, Lego. Batman 2, DC Superheroes. Wreck-It Ralph. 
uh, two 3DS games here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers Super Mega Force. And of course, the one that made me jump on it, Pokemon White version two. Pretty great. Um, no manual, unfortunately, but game's there. I already tested it to make sure it works. So we're good on that. But um, yeah, that that's definitely going for just about 50, maybe a little less. So um, that's what made me pick it up. It was actually very quick. I messaged the person and then they were like, oh yeah, I can meet in a few hours. 50 bucks, so uh, nice little pickup. Like I said, it's not one that I'm making a ton of money on. I think I'll, between that and maybe some of these extras, I'll probably get my money back and then I'll be keeping the 2DS uh, for my collection. So pretty awesome. Uh, definitely still hitting up Facebook Marketplace for these kind of bundles. You know, there's there's opportunity there, and um, I do like it for, for the collection. Mm -hmm.